I'm a firm believer that everyone believes in a God. But I think there's so many things missing in that question when you look at it. First thing is why do we exist in this life to begin with? Because in Christianity, a person would say, someone already died for your sins, you just hear, you, you believe, and that's it, you go to paradise. In Islam, this life is a test. You're responsible and accountable for what you do. Yeah. Which means by necessity, there has to be evil in the world. Because I cannot be tested unless I have the choice to do evil and I have the choice to do good. So my perception of something, I'm not all knowledgeable. Allah says in the Quran, you might love something and it's bad for you. Deep down in your heart, you know this. <laughs> because it's, a, it's a, an effect that requires a cause. Yeah. And atheists will have to explain how did they, where did the energy and matter come into existence, how did they come into existence, and what caused it to expand. So the Big Bang is more on the religious side or God's side than it is on the atheist side. Not with the, not with the church when it's not, it's totally Because they don't, know, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'll let you go, but think about what I said, yeah? No problem. Oh, just all the bad things that happened in life. So okay. Loads of mishaps. But you know what they call the problem of evil? Is what you're saying, basically. See, if there's an all powerful God and there's evil in the world, how can there be a God that's a merciful and powerful yeah. and He lets it happen, right? Yeah. Which means that you need to have two choices. Which means by necessity there has to be evil in the world. Unfortunately, there's too many people in the world that do the evil. But that does not necessitate that then therefore there is no, no God or that religion is not true. How can you recognize good without evil? And how can you appreciate what you have when you don't see someone who's less fortunate than yourself? Some people are so further away from God that they wait until that bad thing happens in their life and they remember the Creator, right? There's so many answers that I can give for this idea that something you might perceive to be evil does not necessitate is evil. Who knows everything about that person and about everyone around that person? Allah says in the Quran, you might love something and it's bad for you. And you might hate something and it is good for you. And Allah knows that you do not know.